Welcome back to another week of the Black and Gold Rundown. I'm Matt Alba, joined now by Charlie Batch. Charlie, the Steelers pulled off a win against a uh, somewhat beaten up Seahawks team. Thankfully, the D had a good game. Najee Harris stepped up. But Big Ben, he did not. Uh, a lot of people are, are, are saying, you know, maybe he should have retired. What's your take on that? Well, I mean, of course, every time you get up there in age, people will throw that question mark out there. But if you can continue to play, yeah, you go by all means go out there and do that. Everything I've seen up until this point, six weeks into the season, it looks like he still has it. There were some throws in this game that he made that he hasn't made over the last five weeks. Now, there were some uh, the mistakes that he made. Every, that happens throughout. But I think overall, he played a efficient enough game that they were able to pull out the victory. Absolutely. Now, that one fumble in the fourth quarter where he kind of, you know, started to pass it, fumbled it. As a, as a quarterback, I mean, what happens in a situation like that? I mean, you know, can you just give us all uh, some insight here? Well, I've seen that happen before, and especially with Ben Roethlisberger, to be able to hold on to that ball and not allow it to slip out. Number one, that tells me he has big enough hands to be able to control that football when you're bringing all of your power and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, trying to hold it back. It's almost like a batter doing a check swing. Very difficult to do in that situation. So when that happened, yeah, you're a little frustrated, but it brings you back to that tuck rule back in 2000, 2001 when Tom Brady did it. And then they ended up rolling it a fumble. So I think that's in his mindset. He thought it was going to be a fumble, but overall it did not happen. I'm sorry, it was going to be incomplete, but it, they ruled it a fumble in that particular perspective. So it was just a tough break all around. And I know that's one thing we'd like to have back. Yeah, TB12, man, he gets all the calls. So like <laughs> all right, well, Steelers, they got to buy this week and then they uh, come back. I think they got the Browns in two weeks. So uh, what do you think they should focus on, you know, with their week off? Well, I think that number one is get healthy, get as many people healthy as possible, because right now there's this is a heck of a stretch because they won't get a semi mini bye week until that week, second week of December when they play the Vikings. All right, Charlie, thanks so much for being with us. If you don't already follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Park Sportsbook, we'll see you again next week. Thanks, Charlie.